speed here tonight. Two hundred freestyle is another race that has just shortened up over the years. Jason, we talked about the four hundred free doing that earlier, and now the two hundred free. Well, now this is definitely a long sprint. You look at that world record one forty two, but scared a little bit last summer. Popa Beach, the young kid from Romania, went became the third person in history to break one forty three along with Phelps and George Paul Biederman, but. This has been really quickened over the last few years. Three people under 145 alone in 22. Hippler, 45 flat, was the fourth quickest in the world last year. He's way up there in lane number eight. Still that speed, Jason, looking good. 50 point, 51-2 actually going out. So he's, he's a second faster than he was this morning. Matthew Richards yeah. in lane three from Great Britain, second of 100 free here at this meet in Fort Lauderdale, starting to close the gap and potentially overtake him here as they set up for this final turn. Well, you know, showing that speed he did in the 100 freestyle has helped him here. Out there still in the lead, but close enough for Richard and Karen Smith, who's not out of it. He's got great closing speed as well. Boy, look at this now. Richard, All of a sudden. Richards is roared by, and Smith is charging too. Watch Kibler up at the top. Kibler trying to come hard. Trent no. Julian as well, but this one is going to be Matthew Richards. Smith will get in there for seconds. Tamir fades to third, but the win for Matthew Richards, runner-up in the 100, and in the top spot here in the 200 free in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, and, and this is a part of Team GP's really good potential 800 free relay. Nice swim by Kieran Smith, 147.3 right now for him. That's a great swim for that young American who is only 22 years of age. He's been around a long time, seems older, but look at this. Three-way shot of Richards, Altamir Smith, last turn. Altamir had it there, Jason. I mean, he was there, but then Richard, you saw it early. I mean, with about 20 meters left to go, he had that, you know, what we've been calling the surge, and there he is right in front of you, going by Altamir, going by Smith. And then coming home in 27-6. Smith was 27-7, but that was a great swim for the Brits. <clears throat> and Matthew is here with us. Hey, congratulations coming off Commonwealth Games last summer. What are kind of goals and things you're focusing on here, getting ready for the rest of 2023? Yeah, I mean, um, last year was quite a tough season for me. There were lots of things that didn't quite go the way I wanted them to, so uh, I've made a few changes to the way I'm training. Um, the stuff I'm focusing on, so we've, uh, we've really worked on a lot of the processes. Um, you know, it seems like it's paying off. I'm swimming faster than I've ever done without a taper. So we've got about five weeks left to the British champs. Uh, so two more weeks of hard work after this and then taper down and see how fast we can really go. Glad to see the changes are working. Congrats. Thank you. Matthew Richards gets the win here in the men's 200 free. Smith surging for second, Altamir ends up third there to dead heat with Shane Casas and Trenton Julian rounding out the top five. Well, up next, Lily King.